Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our class Living in the IT Era. So I am Zyrene K. Reyes and together with me in the technicals is Princess Hanan Samarona and together we will be reporting about Digital Age, Information Age, and Computer Age. Digital Age, Information Age, and Computer Age used interchangeably capture the ubiquitous nature of computing and the prolific use of technology in almost all aspects of human activity such that digital interaction is a defining characteristic of human activity. It is a period in human history characterized by the shift from traditional industry to information technology-based economy brought by industrialization during the Industrial Revolution. As emerging technologies, device users, and interaction strategies with other people and devices enter the area of science, growth, and market launch, the concept of what digital means, or what knowledge means, continues to evolve over time. This period is also characterized by the digital industry creating a knowledge-based society surrounded by a high-tech global economy that exerts its influence on how the manufacturing process and the service sector work in an efficient and convenient way. So, media in the digital age. Media normally refers to the means of communication that uses unique tools to interconnect among people. Forms of media include television, radio, cellular phones, and internet, which involves the access and use of various social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, among others. In the digital age, however, media can be considered as the message, the medium, and the messenger. The message. Media is considered to be the message itself for those who create and own the rights of content. The forms of content can be user-generated or professionally produced. User-generated content is a form of content created and owned by the users of a system. UGC has grown exponentially, especially with the wide internet coverage or easy Wi-Fi access, increased social media participation, and affordable devices. One of the many examples of media tools used especially by millennials to generate content is blog. Keeping diary or a journal is a traditional method of recording one's thoughts or expressing one's emotions through writing. With the advent of the internet, expressing one's feelings and thoughts was given a new concept through online writing or blogging. A blog is a combination of two words, web and log. It works the same way as pen and paper would, but privacy becomes irrelevant given that a blog post can be seen by anyone online. A person who writes blogs is called a blogger. Most recently, blogs have evolved into microblogs and video blogs. Microblogs have become popular due to the rise of Tumblr and Twitter in which users instantly share limited content or short messages. Now, with the increasing number of YouTube viewers, people have explored uploading their own videos ranging from their travels and product reviews to any other random topics. Some vloggers, YouTubers, or social media influencers even make money based on the number of views they get and on the products they feature in their video vlogs. The Medium the medium used refers to the tool or tools used in sending a message from the source to the destination. Traditionally, for example, professionals send message to the audience such as a news anchor delivering the news on TV or radio. However, with the latest technologies, the so-called social media has become an avenue for information dissemination, even taking over news sites in bringing the latest or up-to-date content. One such example is Twitter. Users of this application can constantly update other Twitter users about a certain topic. In this platform, Twitter users can also share other users' content in the form of retweeting and discuss any topic with one another. Thus, the media, instead of just being an avenue for delivering messages, is becoming increasing social with the audience themselves creating their own content and interacting with one another. The Messenger The Messenger is the one who delivers the message. 
This is why broadcasters, for example, being the messenger of news, are called media. In the digital space, however, does the media also refer to social network users who create content themselves but are not professional journalists? Hence, although the media can be the message, the medium, and the messenger, in the digital age, the demarcation lines between them are somewhat blurry. Evolution of Media The media has transformed itself based on two things. One, how information is presented, and two, how the connection is established. Woodcut printing on cloth or on paper was used in the early 15th century. It was in 1436 when Johannes Gutenberg started working on a printing press which used relief printing and a molding system. Now, the modern printing press delivers messages in print such as newspapers, textbooks, and magazines. In the 1800s, the telegraph was developed followed by the telephone which made the two ways communication possible. Message sending and receiving can now be done both ways simultaneously. At the beginning of 1900s, broadcasting and recorded media were introduced. Radio and television were used to send sounded video to homes and offices through electromagnetic spectrum or Dario waves. Audio or video content can be received depending on the frequency used. Later on, a combination of both audio and video information made the audience viewing experience more exciting. Films and movies became so popular as they catered to larger audiences. As community devices have evolved and became widespread, so did the dissemination of information. You can upload and post a picture taken using a smartphone on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram instantly. Community websites such as olx.ph, a counterpart to ebay.com in the Philippines, allow users to buy and sell goods online. The need to go to actual stores is therefore minimized. In the line with this development, the audience, regardless of their professions, can now interact with one another and are no longer disconnected. News sites can even get news stories, for example, from Twitter or other social media sites. According to Claudine Momont, author from The Telegraph, one good example of this happened on January 15, 2009, when dozens of New Yorkers sent tweets about a plane crash in the city. News about the U.S. Airways Flight 1549, which was forced to land in the Hudson River in Manhattan, USA, immediately spread all over the country. All the plane's engine shut down when it struck a flock of geese, minutes after takeoff from New York's LaGuardia Airport. This is a typical example of how people are now able to provide information to everyone and professionals no longer monitor connections. So that is all our report. Thank you for listening and I hope you have learned something and God bless.